Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the Sadly Relatable Podcast. We back, baby! Yay, yay! Oh, it's been so long! <laughs> Hi, <laughs> everyone. Hi, guys. We've actually missed you. I'll be honest. Wait, let me turn this down a second. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit loud. Bit too loud. Mine is too. So we've been away. So you guys would have seen an episode last week, but we haven't actually filmed in three weeks. No, it's been like three, four weeks in this room. So almost a month. I feel so weird. Oh, my God. Even like coming back, I was like, oh, my God, I feel like I haven't really seen guys and yeah but ages. you guys would have seen an episode and so i think yeah but we actually are back to normal scheduling so hopefully you're all ready and excited because i've been saying this for like four months we got big no, things we're not coming. making plans we're not saying plans but <laughs> it's coming it's coming i know it's bit, look when it comes you're gonna be gassed it's gonna be worth it honestly it's in the process i swear dude um but yeah listen how you been i'm good how are you I'm well good. today i am overcompensating because mm. i'm it's the time of the month, so I'm very tired. I haven't really slept, and also I haven't taken my ADHD medication today. Yeah. But overall, I'm not gonna lie. Say Allahumma barik. Allahumma barik. The last m- month, ha- my mental health, I think, has been the best it's ever been in my life. Alhamdulillah. Like, Allahumma barik. I just, I'm just alhamdulillah, and it's from Allah. So please, Allah, don't take it away. <laughs> but it's just like happiness yeah like, i texted you the other day i was like just want to let you know like i'm really happy yeah <laughs> <laughs> just let you know i'm feeling good now um i was actually so happy when you texted me that and i was thinking in my head like the one thing i made sure to let you know though is because sometimes we can get caught up in the happiness yeah. like you have a good time and you get so caught up in it oh i'm feeling good i love this feeling and then all of a sudden you go back down to where you were and you think to yourself there's no hope yeah. That's why I was trying to remind you, yeah. remember, make sure you remember this happiness feeling when you're next low, because then you'll remember, I've come out of this before. Yeah, yeah. So I actually did have a bad day, I think like two weeks ago. No, when I just got back from Morocco, what happened is I was unwell for a bit mm. and then I was in bed and what happened is it was just a really unproductive day. I was in bed. I didn't do certain things that I like do to, you know, make my days good. And then I was just like, kind of for like a minute I was like no that's it like there's no hope and I was like it's just a, there's, a, there's a new day tomorrow why yeah. are you stressing like feel what you need to feel and then move on from it and then literally the next day I was fine that's um, sick I like that mindset that you're but good. you know what even if it gets taken away from me I said this I like even if let's say I go back to being like extremely depressed and all the you know thoughts I was having at least I got to feel it and yeah. I'm like that's why I'm, I'm just grateful and you'll remember it inshallah yeah and also <coughs> Not gonna lie, when you're going through a really bad time mentally, you don't see hope. Like you don't. I don't. You don't think things are gonna get better. I'm never gonna. You know what I mean? You don't. Mm. And it's crazy to see that you can. Um, but no, yeah, I think I'm it's happy. really cool. Allahumma barik. Inshallah, Allah keeps like that for you. Um, I think it's weird because like something that I deal with, which is maybe similar. I don't know. <clears throat> is for example, one day, I think you might even notice this. There's days where I'm like quiet and just different. Yeah, I do notice it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's That's like, so yes, rude. I get it. Um, there's days where I'll wake up, Nishan, and I'm like, think about nothing's happening in my life. In a sense, oh, that sounds so wow. bad. No, I mean like, it's a normal day. There's no bad news or good news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and I'm going to show you two examples of two different days. There's no bad news or good news. There's nothing like, it's, everything's going to plan. Mm. Yeah. So I wake up one day and I'm so motivated and I look at everything I've got and I'm like, oh my days, like look how far I've come. I'm so gassed, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And I like, I'm getting my to-do list done. I'm, I'm feeling good and I've got all this hope and like ambition that I've, and I'm like, it's coming, it's gonna be here. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm so excited yeah. and I'm so confident that everything I want is gonna come. And you're excited to do those things yeah. that are gonna take you to the next stage in life. Literally. Like you're excited for the process. Yeah, and I'm so grateful and I always thank Allah and I'm, I'm just like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then literally the next day, nothing's changed. I just went to sleep, woke up, and I'm like, nothing's working out. I'm stressed. Like, it's so weird. Is that normal, weird. though? I don't know if it's normal, but I was speaking to, like, a few different family members, and they said, like, around my age, they felt the same as well. When you're, like, chasing your dream, you have, like, ups and downs where sometimes you wake up and you feel like everything's amazing and you're ready to go. And then there's days where you wake up and you're like, nothing's working. What am yeah. I doing? And I feel it's a bit hard for me because that's what I feel like I'm battling at the moment. There's days where I wake up, I'm super confident and ready with everything. I feel like it's all going to plan. And then there's days where I wake up and I'm like damn, am I really going to be able to do this, 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 that? Yeah, so if they're saying that that's normal, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you that sounds like a mental illness because mm. I'm sure there is days, but I think if when it's affecting your life, maybe yeah. look into it. Because for me, that's like similar to a personality disorder. But yeah, no, if that's, I guess that is, a f- obviously it's normal to be... 
I'm like, is it normal to be happy and then sad? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm saying it's normal, but if it gets to the point where it's affecting your life, like yeah. it's drastic or it's happening, the changes go from one day to one hour yeah. to five minutes. No, that's no, no, when no. you should yeah, start yeah, to like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it doesn't and happen to me like that. I just, I just have on and off days or like I have a few days where I'm like on it and then a few days where I'm like off. Um, <clears throat> as well, like I was having a massive debate with my friends actually. Um, <clears throat> we were at football. Sorry, I keep coughing. Let me clear my throat. Why do you keep coughing? Just clearing my throat. We had a debate. We were at football. One of our friends was like, ah, oh. he basically said F, mental health. Like, all that crap. Like, As in, in, like, it's not real? Yeah, no, no, no. It came across like he was saying it's not real at first until we, like, got into the depth of the conversation and his point, basically, that he was trying to bring across, but he did wrong and we told him, was he's had enough of this idea that, like, he feels like it's becoming too spoken about, which we brought up before, where now people are weaponizing it or using it as an excuse for their laziness. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's good that we're all aware of it and I feel like we should always be aware of this stuff, but it's getting to the point where, like, people who are just lazy, who don't actually, they're a little bit sad here and there and now but they're not really depressed. using that card, oh, I'm depressed, oh, I'm this. And then some people also f- think forget that you can, you can experience depression and then you can have depression. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can actually be someone who's depressed and has depression and it's what you go for or you can go through a glimpse of it. Well, someone's passed away. It. You're at low. You've gone through a breakup, yeah. a divorce and you have that wave of depression and then you come out of it. I think yeah. that's different to actually having it. Yeah, yeah. Because having depression is a chemical imbalance in your brain. Like mm. it's a medical thing. And there could be things that trigger it in that moment. Let's yeah. say you're going through a hard time maybe, I don't know, the chemicals in your brain, maybe the dopamines aren't strong enough to fight off the chemical reaction. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm honestly making it sounded this so up. scientific. Like, I'm honestly making this <laughs> it up. It sounded like, and if we look at the atoms between both cellular <laughs> sects of no. cells, we Let might see that there's actually a fluctuation between... Fluctuation. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to explain is this. Islamically, when a woman and a man get divorced, you're allowed free... What is wrong <laughs> with me? Why am I... Get over it. No, listen... <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, yeah. <laughs> Ew! What are you doing? <laughs> I just realised, because I haven't explained what I was going to say, it makes no sense and you don't probably think I'm crazy. But li- drink your water so I can explain what I was going to say. <coughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? Sorry, I was just choking about water. It's because when you said it, the first thought in my head is, why has she gone why to, is he to No, it's, it's like you just want an excuse. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, so let me tell you something about when you get divorced. <laughs> right, let me explain now. You're not going to think I'm a weirdo, okay? So, Islamically, when a woman and a man get divorced, you're allowed a three-month hidden period, which means you can't get married for three months. And yeah. that is for certain reasons that when a man and a woman... Ha- have sex sorry that's really weird to say what happens is there's like a chemical reaction in her body that it says three months is when i don't know exactly guys look into it is when the man's like dna or his stuff is fully released yeah so that's why islamically it says after three months you can get married again because that the trace all traces of any person has left yeah yeah but is that the exact reason yeah (laughs) there might be other stuff there's probably other reasons but that's one of the reasons look into it if you're interested but if if her husband dies, it's four months because when you're sad, it takes longer to release those chemicals. Okay, I was thinking, where is she going with this point? Because obviously I know this, but what's that got to do yeah, with like that's being what, sad? That's what I'm trying to explain. Like yeah. maybe those chemicals are lower because you're sad, so your dopamine can't fight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I get, get where, where you're I'm going. From? I get where you're going. You I took say, the long yeah. route. You're maybe, like, there's a road no, there no, where I can mention that I've been divorced, and there's a road here no, where I can talk about this. What I'm trying to say is maybe you're going through something in life that has made the cells in your brain harder to fight off yeah, the you're, chemical reactions. You're basically, you're trying to get an, give an example of how being sad can affect your body. Exactly. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I don't sense. know why I didn't say that, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> oh, That's God. so funny. Um, but yeah, definitely. So we just had this kind of discussion um, and I was trying to educate him that you can't just be so like, harsh, but he was giving examples of like his the older generation, how they, just, how they just fight through it. Yeah. Sorry, are you, well, I have to say it, I'm going to forget and yeah, I find it very interesting. I'm really sorry to interrupt no, you. No, it's okay. So today, it's completely off topic as well. That's oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry. It's all right, go. You ain't taking your, your meds, you correct. Okay, so... Head. Oh, no. Okay, so today we were in Westfield. Um, it was me and Diary Room. And we were in Zara. And there was a girl. So I'm walking and, and I should have said to me, Nisrin, turn around, you're getting filmed. Bearing in mind, I look very bummy. Yeah. 
I look bummy and I know the angle's probably a bit like I'm wet. I probably don't look, I don't know. It's just probably not don't a flattering angle. Yeah, yeah. And I look very bummy. Like I just explained to you guys, I haven't slept mm-hmm. today. I'm on my period. Anyway, so, and then I sat back. I turned around and I see a girl like staring at me with her phone in her hand. And then I walk a little bit and then I'm like, I can't lie. Can you tell her to, rem- to delete it? Like tell her to delete it off her phone. And then they were like, why don't you tell her? Like, just tell her. And I was like, nah, I just didn't, I didn't want to confront her and say mm. delete it. Cause, cause I wouldn't, in case she was someone that was like, um, she like might have anxiety to come up to you and she yeah, to yeah. yeah. I didn't want to be like, can you delete that? So I just said, can you just ask her respectfully just to delete it? Cause I don't really want videos of me looking like this in someone's phone. And then I sat back and thought to myself, like, you shouldn't just film people. Mm. Like if you came up to me and you, there was people that asked to take photos of me that day, that day today. And I do it even yeah. if I look ugly, but like I'm in control of that. <clears throat> yeah. Do you know so, what I mean? So let me give you an example. I had the same oh, thing no, happen to wait, me. Oh no, but wait, sorry, okay. quickly. Sorry, just so sorry. you can give your opinion. There's that one person that backs me in the comments that I love. Sorry. So it's like, Nishan, let him speak. Sorry, so, sorry, do your sorry, job. sorry. No, don't do your job. Sorry, that's a bit rude. Love you. So Aisha <laughs> basically went up to her and was like, hey, can you delete that video? Like, did you film this? And she was like, yeah, but it's because I just watch her. Da, 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 da. And then she was like, are you able to delete it or whatever? And she was like, yeah, but she was on TikTok. She said that. I don't think she said it in a rude way. Mm-hmm. I think she just meant like, oh, why would she want me to delete it? She's literally on TikTok. Yeah. So I don't think it was a malicious. And I think she just showed Aisha that she just sent it to her friend on Snap, which is fine. Yeah. And um, she probably saved it as well, which is really annoying. If you do have that video, can you just send it to me so I can see what I look like? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what do you think about you're on social media, so you should just accept getting filmed? <clears throat> okay, so yeah, this is, I had the exact same thing happen to me. And this is the only, so I'm the type of person that for me, well, before I carry on, I feel bad what I said a minute ago, but the person that comments that stuff, I love you, thank you. Anyway. I think they know you're joking. <laughs> um, so, for me, I, at this stage, anyway, you know how celebrities get to a certain point and they're like, oh, I just can't handle people to, taking pictures of us. But for where we are, because we're so at a low level. Because we're not celebrities. Yeah, we're literally just like normal people. When I get someone that asks to come take a picture. I love I've, it. I know, I love it so much because it feels like the hard work that I'm putting in is like coming to reality and someone's coming up to me. Yeah. And like, it's the most amazing experience for me is because i'm not gonna i know it sounds probably sounds moist but i've been wanting to do like social media my whole life since i was a kid and i used to always imagine one day someone asked and they want to like they i'm special enough for them to want to take a picture with me on that yeah, yeah, yeah. and i used to always think about it and imagine that day and then it happens and you're like this is so nice this is such a nice I think feeling it's a, it's a very sweet feeling because yeah. for you to go up to someone and, and say to them i watch your stuff can i take a photo of you yeah. you must mean something to them and it shows that there's people out there that care about yeah. you so it is a heartwarming feeling yeah definitely and the thing is with me i'm not the type of person myself to actually go up to people and ask for pictures but i know that if it's someone that i've watched and it, they've had an impact on my yeah, life then, you will. then i will because i feel like i have like i know i don't know i've I'm a viewer. I know what it's like. I've watched vlogs, people that daily vlog, and I've been in that world where it's affected me so much and I've had such an emotional connection that even now, I feel like I, I could see some of them people and probably tear up because of how much they've helped yeah, me in my yeah, life. Yeah. So um, for me, when that happens to me, I'm very grateful. The only time I've ever felt weird was ex- this exact situation where like normally people come to me and say hi, but I was in Canary Wharf and I was walking and I was with my friends and these girls were sitting down and I went into like the store and I come out and I, I, I kind of, do you ever go through your day and there'll be people that don't come up to you, but you see them say, oh my God, is that him? Oh, is that yeah, her? Yeah, yeah. And then they'll speak to each other. They kind of did that. And then they walked in front of me. They sat down. I come out the store and I just see them sitting with their phone like this and like filming and like going like this as I'm walking. And I was like, oh, they're filming me. And I was like, I felt so like violated. I was like, can't you just come up to me and say something? But then on the flip- it felt a bit rude. It's not, I don't care what I look like. You feel I sad. It day. makes you feel sad. But on the flip side, mm. it's sad for them because they don't see it as wrong and it's fa- and I get it because if I saw Drake and he weren't looking yeah, I, would I would feel him. Well. <laughs> no, actually, I would. Do you get we're, it? We're not Drake. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> oh damn, what did I just say? <laughs> You're nah. Like, I get it because if I saw Drake, you're comparing yourself to Nah, listen, to okay, not I-, I can't say influencers, shall I tell you why? Because I'm used to influencers. I've seen them all the time. Yeah, so the yeah. next thing for me is act someone that you, yeah, yeah like do you get it? Yeah. So I don't care about influencers because I've, I've been, but to be fair, okay, when I first started, I would probably film an influencer. Wallah, like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Just like on the sly, like something happened recently and I'm going to tell them. Should I tell yeah, them? Yeah. But anyway, before I do, I think there's two types of people. So I get the sort of people that I know when you, they're a viewer. So they'll come up to me yeah. and um, they'll speak to me and they'll tell me like, I watch your life. When they say I watch your lives or your podcast, I'm just like. Yeah, whenever, bring, I, whenever I get bring a podcast, it in, I'm brother. Just, literally. Hey, I, wait, I just had an idea in my head. Uh, Not an idea, thought. You know that video where I think it's, there's two two black men and they have like a comedy show and they're so funny. 
and one's kind of slim and then one's kind of a bit chubbier. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. Different yeah. scenes, they're, they're, Kenny that, or something. No, it's not. I don't know if it's Kenny, but they always do different comedy sketches. There's one where they had the hat. And yeah, they keep, like, doing different. <laughs> so there's hat one stuff. Yeah. where he's the president and oh, he's yeah, saying he hello to everyone, and then it's like there's a white person and then there's black people, and yeah. so with the white people who go hello, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then when he sees the black person, he's like, well, bring it in. and he hugs him. <laughs> and so there's one where he sees like a, a white baby and he's like. Oh, nice to meet you. And he shakes his hand and he sees a black baby. And he's like, oh, come in. He kisses <laughs> <Yeah>. it on the head. <laughs> so that's me. But with the people that watch my life, when they're just like, oh, are you from TikTok? I'm like, oh, hi. Yeah. When they're like, I watch, the podcast. I watch I'm your like, podcast. <laughs> I'm like, bring it in. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. So, but I'm similar. there's also a third person. So there's two different people, right? There's people that watch our podcast and watch our lives that yeah. I think are genuinely friends. And then there's people that just see have seen you on FYP. Yeah. And for me, I, I can I feel more of a connection when it's like, obviously, the one I feel more of a connection with. But the ones I don't understand, and this happened to me once, twice. No, as in, what I'm about to speak about, I'm explaining two different scenarios, but it's happened to me a lot of times. Yeah. So today, literally today, she came up to me, she was like, oh, you're from TikTok. And I have to kind of suss out, like, what kind of viewer they are. Yeah. Because I don't want to be like, hug me. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. I'll sit and hug them and speak to them for like 10 hours. And she's like, what's your name again? And then she's like, can I get a photo of you? And I was like, Nisrin, yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So for me, that was a bit I've, like... I've had ones where I'm like in a queue and someone came up to me, I was in KFC, and they, they took pictures with me because they watched the podcast and everything. I was like, oh, okay, bye. And then the person behind me was like this little bit of an older lady. She was like, oh, are you famous? And I was like, Aww. I was like, no, I just like post stuff on TikTok. She's like, oh, you do TikTok? You're TikTok famous? I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'll never like... That's, we're not. Do you know what I mean? Like, TikTok I have, like, famous is like 24 I, million yeah, followers. Yeah, I've got like... 200k like there's a 10 year old who made one viral video yeah. and got 200k as well like i'm just a normal person do you know what i mean you so, know there's movie clips yeah there's literally movie clips. they make like clips of like scenes and they've got more followers but um yeah so i was just like oh no i've got a little bit of a following and then she was like let's see and she saw it and she goes oh you are famous can i get a picture <laughs> no, so you know what it is <laughs> i think when people come up to me because i i'm social media yeah. i'm just like oh, okay because i don't think that means anything but when they come up to you because you've impacted them or they like they actually support you that's when it's like yeah love. i had i had, um, I had such an uh, amazing experience actually let me go back to my point what i was saying um about getting filmed um yeah why are we sitting here like i love it when people feel like oh the other day <laughs> someone filmed me and like i just really oh i thought you've been telling another story no <laughs> that's actually I how you speak, speak. Like <laughs> I'm joking. guys anyway this is just like a general conversation i know sometimes Shut up and let me speak we've had comments sorry we've had comments where people be like can you stop speaking about social media but again it's just our no, lives just, and we're just speaking about shut it. up listen <laughs> Anyway, my point was I got filmed and I was walking past. Am I past. sweating? No, you're good. Am I, I am, innit? No. I was, we're anyway. both sweating. We just lied Let to each other. Let me talk, other. man. I said we're both sweating. We just lied to yeah, each other. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what? <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was walking out the store and they were filming me. And I felt so like, I don't know, I felt a bit violated. I was like, oh, like, it felt a bit rude. Like, just come up to me and say, hello, I'd rather you speak to me and like take a picture. I actually sound like that. I'm complaining. <laughs> Do what you want. Take a picture. Any, Spit at me if you want. I don't it's care. It's so <laughs> difficult at this point. You guys, give us your opinions down below. I'd actually appreciate if you tell us what you think yeah. on this topic. Speaking of which, something happened to me the other day. Mm -hmm. And I want to cry. Oh, uh, I appreciate you for trying though. Even though it wasn't for me, it was for Sammy. No, but yeah. it was kind of for me as well. Something happened to me the other day. And I want, I don't, I, I want to crawl in a hole in the floor and then bury myself. <laughs> so. I would cry if that happened to me, I'll be honest. I was outside of Selfridges, okay? So the KSI, uh, KSI fight is it's on tomorrow. Saturday. Oh, yeah. tomorrow. I was outside of Selfridges and I just see Logan Paul and there's not a lot of people around him. But in my head, I know that my little brother would be so gassed, like so gassed. And the reason I know is because he knew he, oh, I've got to explain this. We're going to the KSI fight. By the time you guys see this, inshallah, we, it would have happened already. Mm -hmm. And we're going to the KSI fight. What the hell? We're going to the KSI fight. Tomorrow. We have, we have VIP and yeah. ringside tickets. Shout out to our management, Connect, Connect Management and Benji. We love you. We love you. Thank you. And um, so we're going to it and... When he found, when my little brother found out I was going, he basically messaged me and he was like, Nisrin, can you get um, some personalized videos from the beta squad and um, the side men shouting me out? So he said that. Mm -hmm. And I know like, like Semi is like, you know, he's like a skin and yeah. stuff like that. And he's just like, and my little brother. Yeah. So the fact that he asked for that, I was like, I said to him, yeah, I'm, I can't lie. I'm not gonna go up to like bare people. And be yeah. like, Can you please? Shout and we out? might not even. We might be in like a different section. Yeah, I might, not even, I like, might not even see them. He yeah. said, if you see them, yeah. if I see them, okay, I will do that. I probably won't. Maybe like one person. Yeah. Anyway, so 
I saw Logan Paul and I was like, you know what? My little brother would be so gassed if I got him a video. I know he could show it in school. Yeah, yeah. And like, you he'd know love, what I mean? He'll get he'd like street it. cred yeah. in school. <laughs> he would actually love it. So I seen him and I'm, he's literally where that bottle is there. That's how far away he is they from can't. me. Oh, they can see him. So that's how far away he is from me, but he's filming something. Oh, he's that close? Yes. You literally, you could just talk to him. No, no, no. Because he was face walking that direction and they were, he was talking to a camera. Oh, okay. So I thought maybe, I don't know what they were doing. They were speaking about the boxing. Oh, so you were then, definitely on camera then if you were that no, close. No, 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 I wasn't. He, he, the camera was facing that way. It was weird angle. He was holding it like this and he was standing there. So it was going up like that. And oh, okay. I was right here. So they're probably vlogging. I don't know if they're vlogging. They're speaking about, I don't know what they do in it. Yeah. So I'm walking or whatever and I'm like, listen, just ask for a um, video or a FaceTime call, FaceTime semi or whatever, a video. So then I'm walking and then his security, I'm walking and his security go, uh, can I help you? I was like, in my head, I didn't want to say, can you get, can I get a video for my little brother? Mm. So I just said, can I get a photo? And the security was like, no. Oh, that's the worst. But he didn't say it rudely. He was kind of like, no, I'm sorry. Oh. They're, like, they're all busy. They're all filming yeah. something. Do you get it? Which is fair enough. They were literally busy filming. But you had to like hold that L and walk And off. then I just kind of had to stand there like this. And I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> very awkward for me. I literally went and I was cringing. I was dying inside. And then um, there was also, um, the thing I'm worried about is there was people around. Now, I'm not even, I didn't tell you the worst part yet because, because it's a bit awkward for me. But there was a guy in a Range Rover and he was kind of handsome. Obviously, I wouldn't speak to him anyway, mm -hmm. if, even if I was by myself. But the cringiest part is this is where it happened. And there's a guy in a Range Rover. So when we were walking, he spoke to me and he's like, excuse me, can I speak to you? Like he's trying to move to me, which I wouldn't, I don't, move, yeah. I don't respond anyway to guys like that. But I'm like this. And then I ignore him as I always do. <laughs> and then that's where it happened. So he so he's already there like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> so he went anyway. And the there was probably people filming because he's freaking Logan Paul. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know what happened? It ruined my day. I literally wanted you to die. You called me like stressed. You said this evening, this didn't call me. She was like, I just saw Logan Paul. I was like, what? Because <laughs> you like watch his videos and stuff. But yeah. It was very embarrassing for me. And that's why I would never want to be like mean or leave someone. It was just embarrassing. I don't know if it's embarrassing really. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, this is what I wanted to speak about as well. For me, like, you know how they always say, don't ever meet like your what did I say? Did it, they idols, call them idols, but we're, but we're not, we we're don't not believe in idols. idols and yeah. That's the wrong word to say. Yeah, but that's what they say. Like, don't ever meet them because like it can turn out bad. And obviously, we're going to this uh, boxing fight, and we're going to be uh, probably around certain people. We might have the opportunity to meet certain people. And the thing is, for example, for me, there's only two people in like the YouTube scene that I would ever like feel like I need to ask for a picture, and that's FusiTube and <clears throat> Logan Paul, because of. I've literally, from the start of their journey, been watching. Yeah. If that makes sense. And like, you guys will understand because how you, some of you lot feel about us is how I feel about them, if that makes sense. We've yeah, been watching yeah. from like day one. And um, I would, I would be able to part, hold myself. They've played a part in maybe like. In, in giving me the motivation to do certain things, to get up, to be creative, it inspired me to do social media and all this yeah, type of yeah, stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. So um, a part of me knows that if I see them, I won't be able to just be like, oh yeah, you're right. I have to be like, I have to say something. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but at the same time, I'd, I've got anxiety of like going to say something and then it just give me dead energy. You know what I mean? I'm a bit sensitive. Yeah. Like, not about other people, but when I show someone that I a little bit of interest and care and they don't give the same energy. Yeah, that's why it will, you like, don't DM girls, you weirdo. It, yeah, probably. Um, it will like hurt me a bit. So I know that if I try to speak to them and they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, and they don't give me any energy, I'm just going to be like, okay, let me go cry myself to sleep. Ah, uh, <laughs> nah, we, we, we don't know. I don't, I think. I don't even know what about boxing. Honestly, I'm going to support my management and I think it is like a cool opportunity. Yeah, it's sick. I can't I'm guessing. Um, connect us. Did I tell you they're sponsoring it? So yeah, their yeah. logo is going to be like ringside and on the... It's so That's cool. Lit. That's I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, go and show some support and I think it will be fun. Sometimes I feel like we're a bit like all over the place. I don't think it's that deep, to be honest with you. No, nah, I think it's because, you know, we haven't been on in ages, so we're just like, oh, I've got something to talk about. A podcast should be, though, no cut. Yeah. It's not a YouTube video. Yeah, true. Also, I haven't seen you in ages when I think about it. I saw you the other day. No, but I mean, like, properly. Like, I saw you for a bit and then left. Really? Think about it. You've been gone for a time. For Morocco. How was Morocco? Morocco was good. I was meant to stay for two weeks mm -hmm. and I ended up staying for, like, three weeks, yeah. I think. I think you definitely needed it, though. You needed that feeling of missing home. Oh, I, that bit feeling that I've never been away from like my home longer than a week and a half. Yeah. 
Like it's not something I've ever done. And I'm very much a homebody. Yeah. I, I stay home all the time. To be fair, recently since I got back, I'm like feel like I need to go out. Mm. I think maybe that's like normal people what they feel. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I can't really stay in. But yeah, I loved it. But the only issue was I got unwell out there like twice. You always get unwell on holiday. I know, What's wrong with you? No, I always get unwell all the time. It's my immune system is Terrible. very weak. To start taking multivitamins. I do take vitamins. Thank you very much. Okay, well done. Anyway, I'm not going to you talk too much. I don't want to hear about Morocco. Um, tell me, if you were king or, or queen, sorry, for the day in the UK, what laws would you pass or make that are just like random silly stuff that you'd do? Like, do you know what I mean? It's a good... Why don't... I told you ask me these things before <laughs> oh, sorry, the sorry. podcast, Ayo. <laughs> Can you... Does your brain not like allow you to think? You should ask me a day that I'm taking them in. Anyway, right, let me try <laughs> and think. Mm, I feel like men shouldn't be allowed out past 10 p.m. Because... <laughs> Why? I'm so... Or at least... So okay, at least two days a week, it should be when no men are allowed out past 10 p.m. Yeah. Or 8 p.m. What? So the girls can just go out So women can go on walks, feeling safe. You know, they can exercise. Yeah, but you forget there's laws, but they're still criminals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the criminals are actually going to do that stuff. I can come. You think the murderers and killers are going to be like, no, I'm not allowed out. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> you're right. Care. You're right. I should have thought about this. Damn, I don't know. I'd think of something like stupid. Like, I think Mondays shouldn't be a work day anymore. Oh, yeah. Huh? Four day weekends. Why is that not a thing? Yeah, I know. But people actually need to work. Wait, I just realized weekends are for two days. Yeah. Yeah, they so are. So you meant three-day weekend? Three-day weekend? Yeah. No, four-day weekend. <laughs> I would make it every McDonald's has to be halal in the UK. Oh, yeah, obviously. But that'd be lit. Why? What are you losing from making it halal? No, I think there's actual people that don't want like, halal meat. Oh, yeah, that does make sense, to be fair. But why? They don't want clean meat. No, but they don't think that in their head. Like, would you want to eat meat from another religion that they have... Yeah, but there's some people that don't care about religion at all. Yeah, but... Mm. No, I understand you know, why they wouldn't want to eat it. Because if I... If no, I kind of get you. If you didn't know anything about it and you heard this is this type of meat, you might be like, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah. Well, apparently, us Muslims are allowed to eat kosher meat. That's what I heard. I don't know. I try to stay away from all of that. Like, if I'm unsure and I'm like, mm, yeah. it doesn't feel right, it's best to just like avoid it. Yeah, yeah. I heard that though. I don't know. I don't know how true that is, guys. Mm. Um, but yeah, I personally wouldn't. And if I wasn't a Muslim, I don't think I would want to particularly eat halal meat unless I had educated myself on it. Mm. So if I was one of those... Um, non-Muslims that didn't know anything about religion or Islam and someone was like, yeah, we're going to make all McDonald's halal, I'd be like, I don't want to eat halal meat. Yeah. Do you get it? I don't know. I don't know. If I was not religious, I wouldn't care. No, you don't know but that. If I was, no, because I have friends that are not religious that don't care whether it's halal But they or not. know about Islam. I'm saying, let's say you don't know about Islam, you haven't learned it and all you've heard is what the media has taught you, yeah, which is that maybe. it's a bad religion. You'd be like, I don't want them touching my meat. Like, just kill it normally. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but... Yeah, true. Like, they don't know that it's clean or whatever. They just think, Alu Akbar, Alu Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was true. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. It reminded me of like, something Peter Griffin would do. No, it was from... No, nah, have you not seen that tick? Oh, you're laughing and it wasn't Oh, right. no. I thought it was your joke. No, 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 no. There's a video when she goes, it's all Alu Akbar, Alu Akbar. Oh, I thought you were laughing at my joke. Dad. I thought you were laughing at the way I'd done it. Do you get it? That's what I was. No, I thought at. you were laughing at the way I brought it in. Oh. You were laughing at I what I said. I thought it was your original joke. No. I oh, thought you were laughing at the fact the that thing. I brought it in at a perfect time. No, I haven't And you were laughing it. and you've seen... Oh, I thought it was your joke. Gosh. Oh. You've fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah. Nah, I get you. I kind of understand Again, that. give us your opinions because you know, I love to see you guys' opinions and views on everything. Yeah, and I can't lie, guys. I feel like our comment section has, has dried out a bit. Obviously, yeah. we haven't been about, but like, let's bring some life back into it, guys. If, if you're watching, please. If you're give watching a like. right now, this is a sign to comment anything. Yeah, a like, a share, a comment. Like, we're, we're coming back full force and we're trying I to. I can't like, wait. We want that en anxiety. Right. I don't know. <laughs> we want that engagement back. We want to have the conversation in the comment section. I feel like we've kind of lost that. And that's one thing I was really proud of was it's we had such an engagement very conversation. Busy. And also, like, I was going to say we. It is my job to reply to comments. Yeah. But I have been very busy, so I haven't had time. But the thing is, I always read them. Yeah. Every single comment I read. And when someone makes a dua, I always say Emin, and I make dua for the people that comment. Yeah. But it's just finding the time to sit and reply when I can't even reply to 
my mum's text. You don't reply to my initial. I'm not gonna. You have texted me. Yours is a bit ridiculous. If we were to go for our text, it's paragraphs, par- like I send. I mean, the thing is, mine's not even like, hey, what are you up to? Oh yeah, you're chilling. No, I'm sending you important stuff. We've got to get this done. We've got to get that done. She'll just air it. He literally messaged me. Like, so am I ever it's gonna a bit get a reply? Rude, no, it's not rude, Ayo. It is. Why are you victim blaming? No, victim blaming. Can you even get your words okay, out your mouth first, properly? First of all, should I say something to you? I do it to everyone. Okay, I don't care. I'm second not everyone. Second of all, no, no. Second of all, I, I really I don't want to be that girl. Wallah, I'm so sorry. I don't want to use and bring oh, up ADHD all the time and use here that as an excuse. Because wallah, it's not an excuse. And I'm really trying to stay away from being like, no, because I'm going through this and I have this. But if you look into one of the symptoms of ADHD. It cannot reply to text. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't I can't explain that. it. I find it so overwhelming. Wallah. Okay, but can I tell you something? No, no. Let can me I explain myself this first. because No, no, you're not okay, let me okay, explain. Okay, okay. I see a text message and in my brain, I'm like, I will reply as soon as I'm not overwhelmed. And then what happens is it builds up, it builds up so much and then there's seven unread messages and you have to just leave it and make them think that you haven't seen it. Okay, can I tell you something? Does do anyone you know, else understand? Do you know how I know that I understand that happens, but it's also bullshit at the same time. Do you know why? Because say I was a guy that you were interested in getting married to. No, why? don't say that. Say no. there was a guy. Oh yeah, not me. <laughs> I meant like not me as your brother say I transform into a person no just say your... <laughs> let's say there was a man yeah, that you okay. were interested but in and... I'm saying my, what I meant was imagine yeah, I, I transform into that obviously. man not I know what I you meant me. but the way you said it was a bit questionable <laughs> okay listen say there's a guy you you're chatting like to you've got your you got something on your beard there it's gone, it's gone say there's a guy you're chatting to interested in marriage you telling me you wouldn't reply to his text damn I would yeah that's what I'm saying you'd prioritise it and I'm not like here trying to bother you, like trying to make small talk. I'm here telling you we've got stuff to do. Just reply to the text. When you put it like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> She's like, I'm just overwhelmed. I can't reply. Oh, hey, text. Hey, how are you? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So shut I up. get it. And by the way, if I ever become that person that uses like my health as an excuse, or do I do it? Yeah. Say wallah. Yeah, that's you. Say wallah. You're about to say forever. We've passed that. No, say wallah, you I feel like you are a bit of an excusey woozy. <gasps> No, don't say that because that's going to like actually start to, to make my ADHD up. worse. No, that's going to make my ADHD worse. No, you're that doing it now. <laughs> I thought you were being serious. No, please tell me I'm not that person. I think you are a little bit. No, but you know what it is? But it's facts, if that makes sense. Like what you can't avoid the fact that you know what? You struggle I need to stop things. speaking about it. But it's because I want people to understand. Rather, I don't, it's not that I want sympathy. Mm. I want people to understand if I'm ever... Like a certain way. Do you know how it comes across? It comes across how I come across when someone tells me certain things. For example, the way I communicate with someone and show them that I understand what they're feeling, what they're going through, is say you're telling me, oh, this happened to me. I went through this as a kid. I will then react, not just by saying, oh, that must have been so hard. I'll be like, oh yeah, when I was younger, that happened to me as well. And, and then I'll go in depth of how I felt. So, that they, so they understand that, that I understand. But them. sometimes it can look like I'm taking away from what you're saying yeah, yeah. and saying making I went it and, and making it about myself. And like it's a similar energy sometimes where you're just you're trying to just give off why you do it, but it might look like you're trying to like talk too much about it. Damn. But uh, it's an open space here. You can say what you want. I'm gonna stay in my rock, in my hole, and in my home, <laughs> and never leave. I don't want to be that person that uses things as ex- like constantly. No, you can leave. Just don't talk about it. No, I don't want to be that person that constantly says, "Yeah, I'm sorry. This is this." But that. Yeah, we've become like the mental health podcast. <gasps> We're literally everything we said we don't want to be. Should just give up? Guys, this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, listen. Life is about evolving, doing better, and literally growing. Growing. Wallah, there's so much growth in loving yourself. Yeah. I know this sounds crazy, and I want to do a podcast episode yet. Yeah, now, on my meds. Oh, my God. Why am I mentioning it again? <laughs> All right. Let's forget about you and your meds. Um, no. Anyways. What I was going to say is... <laughs> yeah. I could speak for days. And right now I have so much to say about self-development, self-awareness, mm. improving yourself, improving your life and your relationship with God. I have so much to say to you. And I feel like some people will benefit from it. I also I also have a lot to say about getting over breakups. Okay. And I feel like in a couple of months, I really want to do... Let me know what you guys want. Yeah, we'll do I it. I really want to do an episode giving some advice because wallah I feel like I have the all thing is I kind of want us to do that when we have like a guest or something like that yeah yeah because yeah. then we can get someone else's perspective because me and you have spoken a lot about certain yeah, things yeah yeah I, I agree I agree so it's good to bring up topics that we've spoken about before but with a, a brand new like mind and something that's ready yeah, to give I us agree. a different I'm opinion yeah I agree I'm not gonna lie um, and I kind of want to touch on like the self development and things that have um, 
in bettering yourself. In bettering? That's not a word. In things about. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you I mean in, in. You want to speak about in. In. Bettering, bettering yourself. yourself. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. In, you said in bettering. I was yeah, like, yeah. that's not a word. Um, something that I've been doing recently um, that's been helping me is when I'm stressed, I keep thinking to myself, and this is what happened to me before when I first got on, like, on my din properly, it's the thing that got me through a lot of stuff. Is I kind of accepted that I'm going to die one day. So it was always like, whenever something would stress me out, I'm like, why am I, like, there's no point in stressing. I'm literally going to die one day. Like, it's in Allah's hands, it's in God's hands. Like, don't stress. And um, I heard a quote recently that you know, someone told me like in our religion that it says, if you chase this world, no, if you stop chasing this world, it will chase you. So instead of being so attached to the dunya, to the world and worldly things, if you start focusing on your religion, on pleasing God and doing the right things, the world will start to chase you. So things that you wanted before will start coming to you because that's how it works. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And like, I've really been trying to put it into my mental because I feel like I've been so attached to like worldly things and wanting things to work out that if I still work hard, but I push my focus and my attention, I can't speak, onto like um, my din and pleasing God, then things will fall into my Let's lap. say, sorry, I'm, I'm saying this quickly in case I forget. Let's say that everything you're working towards, God has written for you not to get it. Mm-hmm. Then what would have happened? You would have spent all these years stressing out for something that God has already written. Yeah. When you could just enjoy the process. If your goals happen, they happen. If they don't, they don't. Do you get it? Yeah, and I think there's beauty in the journey. Yeah, like, I said that too. And a lot of people say day. this. Even Russ says it a lot I'll as well. <laughs> Russ says it a lot as well. Like he, um, the artist, he talks about how like he enjoyed the come up more than like being there. Yeah. It's it's it, the journey is everything. Yeah. It's literally one of his quotes as well. Like enjoying and seeing stuff starting to work and you're working hard and you're getting there is better than when you get to the top and you're just like, oh, I have you it, got it now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I agree. And yeah. So like to I learn said, to that, I appreciate that. I've got a lot of, similar to what you've just touched on, but I have a lot to say in terms of self-development and just being the best version of yourself and making the most out of life. By the way, I've literally only... <laughs> started this journey so it's not like i have the recipe mm. to be a good person and better no but i have things that i know now that are fresh that have helped me yeah and before they leave my mind i won't mention it but yeah if give you guys us one example that, one example would be to love yourself and mm-hmm. i know it sounds very generic and cliche but i don't know if there's people out there like me but i would like wake up and i would think okay god doesn't love me um, I mean, God's angry with me, not doesn't love me because he says he loves you. It's God's angry with me. And if I was to die, I probably would be going to down under. Oh, no. I would think that. And also I would think I'm a bad person. Why? Because this is what I've been told in the past. Mm-hmm. You're hard to deal with. You're this, you're that, you're that. So what happened is overall, you build over self-hate. time, mm. there's years of it. And it's my friends that have uh, kind of helped me out of that. And I'm not going to lie, more specifically Diary Room as well, because they have genuinely, anytime we speak, just literally just told me, like they've just, just, just yeah, but they're highlighted yes, my positives. I'm That's joking. So <laughs> they've highlighted my positives to the point where now I'm, I wake up. And yeah, but say, don't get too big headed. Do you know all. what? They're right. I'm amazing. <laughs> not at all, because I still do have that part of me where I'm like, I need to do better. I need to be better. Yeah. And one of my biggest fears, the reason I will never get too big headed is because one of my biggest fears, because I've seen it with my own eyes, yeah, is to be someone that Allah is not, ha- stuff Allah. I was going to say, be someone that Allah is not happy with. How do I know if Allah's not happy with someone? No. Be someone that isn't a good person, mm. but says they're a good person. So imagine. I think a lot of people do that though. Yeah. So imagine Allah is not happy with you, but you are trying to, convince humans Allah's creation yeah I'm a good person or oh I've done so much for the, I've done this or the, when well, in I mean? reality it's, it would be a better situation if they all thought yeah, you were a bad person and he knew you were a good person that's always my mindset yeah. wallah so that's why I don't think I'll ever get big headed and I don't think I'm the best person in the world like I've done so but I I think I have a good heart. Yeah. And I d- but there's a lot of people that are evil that I think they have a good heart. They're like deluded a little Ayob, bit. Ayo, this is when you're going to agree with <laughs> no, 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 me. I agree. You do have a good heart. No, and say like, yeah. <laughs> no, you no. go, yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Narcissists think they have good hearts. 
true. She, <laughs> I just you're went back taking all the boxes. Steps. You're taking all the boxes. <laughs> Don't. I just went back like five steps. No, no, you're good. It's definitely true though. You ha- you, there's a point where you can't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, 100%. Otherwise, you're not going to progress. You're just going to always put yourself down and be like, you're this, you're this, you're this. And you've got to think, instead of thinking, oh, Allah's going to be angry with me, like I dress this way, I don't do this. Think of all the good you do and think, oh, maybe Allah will be happy. But you still have to work to like that stuff this as well. This is where... You can't be like, I'm really good here. No, I'll no, do no. this really bad. But you still have to think, okay, I'm going to better this at some point. This is where I have... To, I'm a bit conflicted because I had this conversation, I don't know if you were there, with mm. diary room, and they were saying, and you were saying actually as well, I think you were, you can't think you're going to go to hell. You have to always... Because Allah is what you make him. You have to always think, I'm going to go to Jannah. Yeah. But that the reason I don't want to be that person is because... Then I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna think. Oh yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna make it, and I won't work hard to not make it. No, but there's a I way of doing it. it. You have to have a positive mindset, and that Allah's gonna have mercy on you. But you have to know that you're trying. Yeah. You can't not try and be like, oh, yeah, no. You have to actually be trying and know that what you're doing is sometimes not enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I feel like I don't know. There's a, there's a whole journey, and I think it, I kind of want to speak to you about the way you dress and stuff like that. I'd love to have a, pod, uh, a talk yeah. about it on the podcast. Let's do you know what I mean? Do it. Um, and kind of get your thoughts on it and why you do certain things because sometimes you will dress a certain way and like I'll say to you I'm not comfortable with that and for me it's more like I don't understand why this like little section has to be like what is it in your mind that makes you tick that you need to show your belly when you could literally just go like this and you still look as good in the outfit and look nice like why you're taking so anyway, much we'll speak about it. if you but guys you know want I mean? that episode <laughs> yeah. let's speak but you're about taking it. so much sin for this little section that you could just go like this and cover it up do you know what I mean? I'll explain it in another F. When we touch on it, I'll explain it. But yeah. I do have it in my brain. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so guys, let's do the shout out of the week. Um, it's been fun being back. Again, I'm really excited for what's to come, inshallah. Mm. Can you guys keep us in your duas? <laughs> Can you keep us in your duas? Please. Um, I actually like, I don't know, man. We're coming back. Please come back to us and watch us. I feel like you lot have been missing as well. <laughs> Okay, so the shout out of the week goes to Saf A. I think we might have shouted her out before. I'm going to do a whole list. You say that to every shout out. (laughs) So we love you more. Thanks for taking time. uh, Look, thanks for taking out time to create this podcast for us. I'm planning ahead um, just to get us a podcast, knowing you wouldn't be able to film this week after. I made my day, mate. I love bless you both lots. We love you so much, Emmy, and the same for you and your family. (laughs) Emmy, thank you so much. She also commented, why did Abe change his t shirt though? Because I just wanted to like look like it was something different, but this yeah, refused to change, and I already changed. I was just like, all right. No, that's a lie. It. Because before you change, I said to you, Abe, I'm not changing. So why are you changing your t-shirt? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> okay, okay, you caught me. But I also wanted to change because, like, after I feel, like from, I'm sweating in this, so like yeah, it was I'm nice right getting now. refreshing, refreshing, um, refreshed. But thank you, Saf A. <laughs> we, we appreciate love you. you. We love everything, so much. all of you guys. We love you guys, and I miss you guys. I'm so happy to be back. Weekly episodes, and we got big things coming that I've just been saying for ten years. But yeah, we love you lots so much and we will see you next week Nishan where can I find you you can find me crying on my pillow you can find me at it's Nishan on Instagram and TikTok you can find me at Kayla Kasha on all social media platforms don't forget to follow Sally Relatable TikTok podcast oh Sally Relatable podcast on TikTok and Instagram guys we love you lot so much don't forget to like share subscribe and press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post I love you lot so much and I'm just here to tell you we'll be back every week inshallah and we'll see you next week love you bye love you Oh, ow, that hurt me. No, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was no, wrong. No, I said I was wrong. I meant to say oh, peace. Oh, you said bye. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, peace. Okay.